Jim, can you answer this question? We're all surprised around the table that with well, the, the criticism rising in all quarters, the president would fly to San Francisco for a fundraiser instead of going to New Orleans. That seemed extraordinarily tone deaf. Uh, that seems tone deaf. Uh, we had a, uh, an interesting scoop yesterday that the, the head of the EPA was going to head up to New York to do a fundraiser. Last night they called to say that she's uh, canceled what, wait, that wait, wait, fundraising. Wait, 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 what? 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 Are you, the head of the EPA was going was to gonna head go, to New was, York to do was, a fund. So you're going to have the president in San Francisco doing a fundraiser right. and the head of the, of the EPA doing a fundraiser in New York. Are these people out of their minds? Uh, I'm, I'm not a PR expert, but I don't think when that they that is the best PR play you can do when you're trying to show you that you're in control. They canceled. They canceled they last night. The uh, fundraiser what? was going to be for the the DSCC, which is the fundraising arm of, for Senate Democrats. And and once it got out, they had to cancel it, obviously. Oh, wow. And I think like Mike, those are those are the elements I, that make it a lot harder Mike, to show I'm in control, focused on this. People? Who would have been invited to that fundraiser with the head of the EPA? Who who would go? Oh, I mean, anytime you have a, 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 a big government official at a fundraiser, people want to rub elbows with them, people in the industry, people who care well, see, about I, the issue. So like, there's no there's doubt so any cabinet oh, official is going to have that. Want to have influence uh, over the EPA. One thing to have like a fundraiser, BP. which we can argue, but um, this thing's been going on for a month. It took until late yesterday for them to cancel this. Uh, am I correct well, in what you and, said? And, uh, right. Yes, it, it took till uh, they they ended up canceling this last I'm night. Sorry. And I think like, so, the so, somebody is stupid in the White House. Stupid. Like money to send the head to the EPA. Think about this. Thing. They're sending the head of the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, which by the way allowed chemicals to be dumped in the Gulf of Mexico when they were being begged not to, to hold a fundraiser in New York. When Barack Obama was flying to San Francisco to hold a fundraiser for Barbara Boxer, nothing's wrong with fundraisers. But while this is going on, Jim, this is this is staggering. Who who would make such stupid decisions inside well, the White House? Well, there's two things that happen. One, most fundraisers are scheduled well in advance. So they, in, in all likelihood, both of these were at least tentatively on the schedule beforehand. Like where the stupidity would come in is if you don't if you don't cancel them or you're seen doing too much fundraising when the country's expecting you to be taking the lead uh, on BP. I mean, from the White House perspective, they're trying to calculate, well, how long do we have to put everything else on hold, given that we don't know the duration of how long it's going to take to clean up the spill. Uh, and therefore, they're making the calculation, well, yeah. we've, we've still got to go and do our job. And one of our jobs is to make sure that we keep a, a Democratic Senate so we can get our initiatives through next year. You know, the president yesterday, after being criticized for going to San Francisco, they had a late change and decided he'd go down Friday. Um, I don't know. I mean, what is, what is wrong with yeah. appearing on, why can't he just appear on a giant video screen? Because, I mean, you know, that would have right been now. better PR to say, like, you know, Barbara Box. A Barbara Box. Right. A Barbara Box. I'm in New Orleans. Jim Vanderhyde, yeah. thanks. Thank you, Jim. Coming up.